Hi, Devin from T Equipment here. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new FLIR C5 camera and we're also going to compare it to the previous generation, FLIR C3. I'm one of the thermographers here at T Equipment. I've used a lot of these cameras. Um, so let's, let's get started with the, the spec rundown. So the big difference is that the C5 is going to have a 160 by 120 sensor and that's a four times improvement over the previous generation's 80 by 60 sensor. So you get a lot more clarity with a four times the size sensor. You're also going to get a greater sensitivity. So the previous generation had a 0.1 C or 100 millikelvin sensitivity and the C5 has a 70 millikelvin or 0 0.07 degree celsius sensitivity and that's the smallest temperature difference that the sensor can see and you know 0 0.1 0 0.07 c doesn't sound like a lot but it does make a big difference in contrast when you're looking at applications where just a couple of degrees will make a big difference like doing a home energy audit the C5 has a broader field of view, just 54 by 42 degrees. And the C3 had a 41 by 31 degree field of view. That's important if you're working in up close and you wanna make sure to get lots of things in the frame or you have limited clearance. Um, say you're looking at a wall, it means you can stand close to the wall and get more of it in the field of view. It's, it's typically, typically a nice thing. There's a, there's a little bit of a trade-off overall, but on the fixed focus cameras, more often than not, a broader field of view is, is an improvement. You can see that the dimensions have changed a little bit. So on the C3, you had a three inch touch display. On the C5, you get 3.5 inches. That's diagonal corner to corner. And that's just gonna make it a little bit easier to use and operate. They changed the, the menus around a little bit to make use of the increased screen size. But more screen is better. You're also gonna have a better visual camera on the C5. It's a five megapixel shooter versus a 640 by 480 pixel on the C2 and C3. That's gonna make it better for when you need to read your reports, um, look at your thermal images and determine just what was I looking at when I, when I took this image. Gives you a lot better context. You have an increased temperature range going from negative four to 752 degrees F, up from 14 to 302 F. So a little bit better for your electrical applications or other high temperature applications. And you're also gonna have a USB-C connector versus the older USB micro. You have a built-in tripod mounting screw. On the C3, there is a frame that you needed to use. You also have a two hour charging time on the FLIR C5 with four hours of runtime, up from two hours of runtime with a one and a half hour charge time on the C2 and C3. So yeah, half a day instead of just a couple hours. Um, since it's a non-replaceable battery, built-in lithium battery, it does make a big difference to have that much working time available to you. Uh, they also added what they call FLIR Ignite, which is FLIR's new cloud service. Um, both of these phones can talk to the FLIR Tools app on your phone over, over Wi-Fi. On the C5, they added Bluetooth, but the, the C3 and C5, you could both open FLIR Tools on your phone, see what the camera was seeing, and do some editing and sharing and all that good stuff. But they, they made it a little bit a little bit better on the C5, and we'll talk more about that later.
that's about it for the specifications. So I figure we'll, we'll see what kind of images they both produce and let you be the judge. All right, so here's our C3 looking at the circuit board here I have. I mean, you can, you can kind of tell what's going on. But you see how the, the thermal seems to be off the components you might expect to have the, the hottest elements. That's probably just the MSX there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and adjust that. Oh, looks like we're already on the closest distance, which is three feet. And you know, we, we get some detail. You can see what's going on. Here we got the C5. Let's put it on thermal only here. Pretty interesting. A nice sharp view of that cooling block. You can see I can get yeah, pretty close here. Really see the individual chips and how they're heating. Now, this isn't necessarily the, the best tool for doing PC inspections, but you can see a big difference in resolution. See how blurry the C3 is. It's just not, not the same quality. So you can see how the difference of resolution and having MSX on or off really affects your image quality. Um, so for all that, the C5 is definitely a big improvement. But one other thing that FLIR has done behind the scenes is add what they call FLIR Ignite. And that allows you to, as long as you're connected to the internet, instantly and automatically store all of your photos to the FLIR Ignite cloud and that way you can, you can share it um, with a link instantly, send it where it needs to go, or you can just have it stored and saved for, for later, for safekeeping. That's the, the big differences between the C2, C3, and now the newest C5. So if you have any other questions, my name is Devin. You can call T Equipment or visit us on the website or live chat and talk to one of our thermographers. Thanks so much for watching our video.